college basketball. My name is Jacob Kelly, and tonight we have a matchup of the 7 and 8 Western Kentucky Hilltoppers traveling down to Boca Raton to take on the 10 and 5 FAU Owls. FAU starts off with possession of the ball. Starters for FAU, Sophia Galeron, Julia Maddox, Jada Moore, Amber Gaston, and Alexa Zaff. Ball with Joy Maddox. Western Kentucky, Pitts, Meade, Meredith, Hayes, and Foster rounding out these starters for the Hilltoppers. Ball in the hands of Hayes, passing it over to Meade. Meade guarded by Joya Maddox. Getting the ball inside to Foster. Ball back up top with Hayes. Hayes dribbling in. Layup is up and is no good. Dribbling off the rim. Rebound falls to Zaff. Zaff pushing the ball up in transition, kicks it to Sofia Galeron. Galeron to Maddox, gets it back to Galeron. Galeron hits Amber Gaston down low. Her fake goes up with a misses, gets her own rebound. Has that blocked. Blocked shot by Meredith. Rebound by Mee, pushing it up court to Pitts. Gets it back to Pitts. Her shot is up and is no good. Off back rim. Rebound falls to Jada Moore. FAU pushing the ball, Joy gets the ball down low again. Ball deflected back out up top for Moore for a dribble handoff to Zaff. Both teams are led by stellar freshman guard play. Anaya Hubbard of FAU has consistently been the top scorer over the last month of play for the Owls as the layup is up and is good. Alexa Zaff getting her first points. Anaya Hubbard not starting today, averaging 13.8 points per ball game. Anaya gets most of her done work attacking the basket with her favorite left hand. Ball back the way of the Hilltoppers outside with Meredith. Gets the screen there set by Foster. Rolls in. Her layup is up and is no good. Good defense there by Gaston. Zaff pushing the ball back in transition. Tries to hit a backdoor cut to Joya Maddox. Unable to do so there. Just as we're speaking of her, Anaya Hubbard checking back into the game. Anaya not giving a start, but quickly coming in here as a sub. Again, leading the Owls in points per game. The freshman out of Hoover, Alabama, with her 13.8 points per ball game. On the other side, Acacia Hayes gets the scoring done for the Hilltoppers with her 10.8 points per game. Ball up top with Zap guarded by Meade. Getting it to inside to Joya Matt Maddox. And good defense there by Hayes. Getting her hand in the passing lane, deflecting it off of Maddox, going out of bounds the way of the Hilltoppers. Acacia okay, Hayes also gets a lot of her scoring done from inside, but it's also a stellar three-point shooter when she occasionally takes those shots, shooting 42% from outside. Three-pointer is up and is good. Three-point basket, good by Foster. Hilltoppers getting their first points of the ball game now. FAU leading 4-3, 7-30 left to go here in the first quarter of play. Jada Moore gets her shot blocked from behind. Fights for the rebound. Ball still up for grabs. It does eventually fall to Meade. Meade pushing it two on one. Gets it to Pitts. Pitts kicks it back out top to Meredith. Meredith crashing over her defender. Kicking out to the corner. Three-pointer is up and is no good. Missed corner three there by Meade. Nia Hubbard. Freshman out of Hoover, Alabama, pushing the ball court. Kicks it out to Zaff, and it is good! Alexa Zaff with a three-pointer. Gets on the board with her second basket of the game. Ball up top with Meredith, kicks it over to Meade. This is back over to Foster. Meade gets it back, guarded by Zaff. Takes her on the dribble, gets the screen by Pitts, refuses it, kicks it out to Hayes. Hayes getting the ball back. Screen set by Meredith. Hayes dribbling in. Goes up with it. Some contact there. No foul. Rebound falling to Jada Moore. Moore pushing the ball up court. Getting it to Joya. Joya guarded by Pitts. And we have a foul. Some hand fighting underneath there between Amber Gaston and Foster. Jalen Foster there with the foul against her. Checking into the ball game, Yanetta Rosenthal coming out, Amber Gaston. Rosenthal was much missed last time out against North Texas as FAU fell in that ball game. With her absence, the Owls had their least amount of rebounds in a single game this season as Zaff drives in, missing it off the backboard. Owls only with 27 total rebounds in her absence there in Texas. 
Zaff coming back the other way after the missed shot, getting her hand the pass lane, intercepting it, looking long there for Anaya. Ball deflected and turned over. Meredith getting her hand in there, getting the steal. Mead back the other way, guarded by Hubbard. Kicks it to Meredith. Down low for Foster. Foster already three points in this ball game so far. Her left hand finishes up and is good. Second basket here for Jalen Foster. Five points in the game, leading the way so far for the Hilltoppers. 7-5 ball game, five and a half on the clock here in the first quarter of play. Getting in the passing lane there is me taking it the distance and gets the layup. Lazy pass there by FAU leads to an easy transition layup there by me. The Hilltoppers now coming out in a full court press. Soft press there as FAU is able to break that easily. Dennis Scott getting ready to check into the ball game here for the Owls. Yuneta with her first touch, kicks it down to the corner for Maddox. Maddox gets it into Anaya. Anaya, another turnover here, trying to hit it down low and a breakaway opportunity for Hayes. And Hayes misses the layup. Leading scorer, Acacia Hayes with the blown layup there and a Western Kentucky foul in transition. Dennis Scott checking into the ball game here for Jada Moore. 4.50 left to go here in the first quarter play. 7-7 ball game here in Boca Raton, Florida. Okay, substitution. Now into the game is number 10, Ashelon Gillard. Seven ball game, 4.50 left to go here in the first quarter of play. Substitutes in here for FAU on the court. Devin Scott, number two, Anaya Hubbard, Agilon Gillard, Yanetta Rosenthal, and Amber Gaston. On the other side for Western Kentucky Hilltoppers. Number five, sorry, yes, number three, Alexis Mead. Number five, Maya Meredith. Number 11, Jalen Foster. Faustino and Blevins checking to the ball game for the first time here for Western Kentucky. Dennis got with the ball, kicks it to the corner. Three-pointer is up and is no good. A.J. Gillard there with the missed shot, rebound by Rosenthal. Anaya with the shot up and is good. Anaya Hubbard with our first points of the ball game. Leading scorer for the Owls, only double-digit score getting on the board. Fifth different score in the game to get points up on the board. Both sides with Alexis Zapp with her five points, Jalen Foster with her five points leading the way. Alexis Mead also has a bucket as well as Joyda Maddox of FAU. Ball up top with Meredith, kicks it to Blevins. Anaya getting her hand on it, nearly able to save it. And we have a shot clock violation, so either way it will be staying with the Owls. Good defensive possession there. Good job by Anaya getting her hand in the passing lanes. After starting the season at 9-2, the Owls have dropped three of their last four ball games. Last time out falling to North Texas, 75-59. to The Owls were left shorthanded, missing their second leading scorer, Yanetta Rosenthal, as she sustained an ankle injury down in Miami versus FIU. So they deemed that Anaya had possession of the ball there. So Western Kentucky will be getting another possession. 3.49 left in the first quarter. Owls up 9-7 to seven over the Western Kentucky Hilltoppers. Ball up top with Mead, guarded by Scott. Scott got the pass. Faustina over again, the ball dribbling to her left. Kicks it outside to Blevins. Blevins driving baseline, kicks it out top to Foster. Her three-pointer is up and is good. Three-point basket there. Jalen Foster with her eighth point of the ball game. Another press here and another turnover here by the Owls. Anaya Hubbard going for the long pass there, turning the ball over. Already six turnovers here for the, for the Owls so far. Taking in the paint and converting is Alexis Mead there. The undersized guard led the Hilltoppers last time out with her 19 points in their victory over FIU. 
Dennis Scott getting the ball across half court. Hilltoppers now with a three-point lead, 12-9, 2.50 left to go here in the first quarter of play. Coming out in a 2-3 zone are the Hilltoppers. F.A. swinging it around the perimeter. Ball with Agilon gets down in the corner, gets it back. Agilon dribbling in left, deflected out of bounds there by Faustino. Good defense there by the Hilltoppers. There's only four seconds on the shot clock for the Owls to get up a shot. Inbound pass to Scott. Scott has to put up a shot. Her long three-pointer is up and falls short. Shot clock violation here by the Owls. Good defensive possession there by the Hilltoppers. We'll see them take back possession. Meade bringing the ball up court here. Guarded by Scott, gets a screen set by Foster, kicks it outside to Blevins. Blevins dribble, handoff to Meade. Meade with her four points already in this ball game. Gets it down low to Blevins, gets it back to Meade. Good offense here by the Hilltoppers, extending the lead now to five, 14 to nine. With 2.08 left here to go in the first quarter of play. It's been a very clean ball game so far for the Hilltoppers. Only one turnover to the Owls, six turnovers so far. Ball down low, Tianetto Rosenthal, she converts it. Good to have her back again. Went down against FIU with an ankle injury. Good to see her back after one game missed. Meade back the other way, guarded by Scott. Kicks it outside of Meredith. Meredith's three-pointer is up, no good. Rebound falls to Anaya Hubbard, her second rebound so far. And another turnover by the Owls. Anaya dribbling into a crowd and losing the ball. Taking it in is Faustino. Takes a contact, gets it to go, and with going to the free throw line for one more. Plastino there, taking it to the rack. Putting it up, getting it to go, and getting another free throw for her troubles. Back with a five point lead here are the Hilltoppers. Betancourt checking into the ball game for the first time here for the Owls, or sorry, for the Hilltoppers. Layup, or sorry, the free throw is no good and falls out of bounds off of Zaff, so another possession here for the Hilltoppers. Last time these two teams met, Western Kentucky swept FAU last season, but later meeting come down to an overtime battle down here in Boca Raton. Inbound three-pointer is up and is good. Faustino, another bucket extending the lead to eight after the game possession for the Hilltoppers. FAU looking to defeat the Hilltoppers for the first time and another turnover there. Devin Scott passing the ball out of bounds. I was looking for their first victory here over the Hilltoppers back since 2021. Substitution for the Alaney Toppers. Dylan the game Hanna checking to the game for oh, FAU. As Savori checks into the ball game for the Hilltoppers. Hanna coming in for Amber Dylan Gaston. Hanna. Gaston getting her first home start here of the season. Faustino with the ball up top, guarded by Zaff. Gets the screen set by Benton Court. Under the basket, kicks it out, three-pointer is up, and another one drops for the Hilltoppers. Hilltoppers four of seven, shooting 57% on a 15 to two run in the last two and a half minutes of play. Season double the advantage over FAU, 22 to 11. Ball kick outside, Gillard, three-pointer is up, and is no good off back rim. Rebound falls to Foster. Yaneta and Foster there coming together. Yaneta will be picking up the foul there. That's going to be her second foul. Excuse me, her first foul. Second foul by the Owls. 40 seconds left here. The Hilltoppers doubling their advantage over the Owls. 22 to 11. A three-pointer is up. This one falls short. Rebound falls to Foster. The kind bounce results in a layup for the Hilltoppers who are having themselves a near perfect first quarter of play. Jennifer Zolva calling out a play call for the Owls as Zab brings the ball across half court. This might be the last possession of the quarter. Scott with the ball outside, kicks it to Giller. Giller long three-pointer is up. This one also no good. The Owls now 20% from three, one of five to start the game. Two seconds left, Faustino kicks it out. Three-pointer is up. This one is no good. This there by Foster. A dominant first quarter of play by the Western Kentucky Hilltoppers.
this season, leading 24 to 11, a 17 to two run over the last three and a half minutes there. FAU trailing in this ball game here. We will be right back with the second quarter of play here at Eleanor R. Baldwin Arena. Five and three and three in league play. The Owls are in their second year under head coach Jennifer Sullivan, who has led the Owls to a 10, or sorry, a 15 and 30 record over two seasons here in Boca Raton. Hilltoppers starting with possession of the ball. Savori, Foster, Faustino, Blevins, and Bettencourt on the floor. Foster leading all scorers with 10 points there in the first quarter of play. Layup is up and is good. The underhanded layup going underneath the defense there by Faustino. 26 to 11 lead here for the Owls, or sorry, for the Hilltoppers. Maddox getting the ball across half court in the ball game for the Owls. Maddox, Hannah, Moore. As Moore goes down, kicks it down low and gets it down to Dylan. Hannah Lamb is up and is good. Again, that's Maddox, Hannah, Moore, Yanetta Rosenthal, and Alexa Zapp. Faustino with the ball, getting it to Ben Court. Kicking it back outside to Savori. Savori with three points in this ball game so far. Kicks it to Foster. Foster down low, Ben Court. Her shot is up and is good. Offense free flowing here for the Hilltoppers. 57% from the field, 44% from beyond the three-point arc. Meanwhile, the Owls shooting 42% and 20% from three here early on in the ball game. Zaff with the ball. She has five points in the ball game, guarded by Savori. Gets it over to Joya Maddox up top, kicks it back to Zaff. Yuneta gets it. Her mid-range jump shot is up and is good. Yuneta getting the bucket here. Second bucket of his ball game, 2-2, two, two, four points here for the senior forward out of Latvia. Blevins kicks it down low to Foster. Foster taking on Zapp. He She puts it up and gets it to drop. Foster now, 12 points here in the ball game. Already over her season average, comes into this ball game averaging nine and a half points per ball game. Moore with the ball, picking, picking up her dribble. Swinging across court and picking up the offensive oh, foul. Wow. Jada Moore there leaning into her defender, extending the arm, picking up the offensive foul. Dylan Hanna checks back out of the game. 15, Sophia Galeron checking back into the ball game here. That's Galeron, Maddox, Moore, Rosenthal, and Zapp. Savori, Foster, Faustino, Blevins, and Benton Court for the Hilltoppers. Ball top of Faustino gets it down low to Foster. Foster's been on fire, backing down. Yanetta picks up her dribble, kicks it outside to Faustino. Three seconds of the paint is the call, so the Owls are getting the ball back. Only the second turnover here by the Hilltoppers. With 7.45 left to go in the second quarter of play. 30 to 15 ball game here. The Hilltoppers back in their zone. This a three-quarter zone press. The Owl is able to get through it with the ball in the hands of Zaff. Zaff gets it to Maddox. The Owl still have not shot well. 46%, 20% from three. Zaff gets a screen from Maddox. Kicks it out to her on the pop. Joya driving left. Her, her mid-range jump shot is up and is no good. Rebound falling to Meredith. Maya Meredith there with her second rebound. Jada Moore. Stealing the pass there, and dribbling up court is fouled there. That's going to be number 11, Foster, with her second foul. And with that foul, she will have to check out the ball game. Aliyah Pitts coming back into the game. Played just over three and a half minutes in the first quarter of play. Savori, Pitts, Mead, Meredith, Blevins now on the court for the Hilltoppers. Zaff with the ball, getting it to Galeron. Galeron kicking to Maddox. Sorry, to Moore. Yanetta with the ball, getting it back to Moore. Moore driving in, ball in her left hand. Yanetta, three-pointer is up and is no good. Back rim. Rebound falls to Savori. Savori bringing it up court. Ball outside now with Mead. Mead dribbling in with her right hand. Kicks it out to Blevins. Blevins, three-pointer, this one no good. Rebound falls to Mead. Another second chance opportunity here for the Hilltoppers. Screen set by Blevins. Now we have Savori on Galeron. Her layup is up and is no good. Apologies, that was Mead. 
Mead with six points in the game up to this point. Zaffering the ball the other way, dribbling in. Her layup is off the rim, no good. And we have a timeout the way of the Hilltoppers. 6.25 left to go here in the second quarter of play. 30 to 15 advantage for Western Kentucky here at Eleanor R. Baldwin Arena. My name is Jacob Kelly. Thank you for tuning in to Conference USA and Stadium TV. Hilltoppers of Western Kentucky here, 6.23 left to go in the second quarter. Last time out, the Owls were against North Texas, their third Conference USA contest of the season, dropping 75-59 to road battle against the North Texas Mean Green back on Saturday. Nye Hubbard led the way, scoring a team-high 14 points, shooting 67%, 6 of 9 from the field. Also hit, nailed both of her free throws there. Naya checking into the ball game here for the Owls. Naya, Galeron, Maddox, Rosenthal, and Zapp. Ball up top with Meredith. Meredith driving on Galeron, takes a shot. Three seconds there, ball turnover stolen by Maddox. The Owls coming the other way with Zapp. Zapp takes it to the hole, her lamb is up and is good. Zaf driving right into the heart of the defense there on the fast break. The Owls coming out here with their zone press, forcing a travel. Back-to-back -back possessions here. The Owls pressing, this time resulting in a free possession, causing the turnover. The Owls can try to bring it back down to 10 points here with a three-pointer. Have not shot the three-pointer well so far. One of six from beyond the arc. Hilltoppers shooting four of 10 from the three. Hilltopper is staying in a 2-3 zone. Ball up top of Galeron, guarded by Savori, getting it down low to Rosenthal. Rosenthal, step on the baseline. As the three-pointer goes, goes through good, will not count. Another turnover for the Owls. Tenth turnover here. Five and a half left to go in the second quarter of play. This time Hilltopper is breaking the press. Savori taking it, blocked by Rosenthal. Now the FAU pushing, attempting push with numbers. Number, numbers not there. So FAU slowing it down. Mags with the ball up top, getting it to Zaf. 20 seconds on the shot clock. FAU electing to run their offense. Ball in the corner with Maddox. Gets it, tries to get to Galeron. Turned over. Coming the other way is Meade. She slows down, goes up with it, and gets it to drop. Rest restoring a 15-point lead for the Hilltoppers. Meade there in transition. Maddox with the ball up top, kicks it to Galeron. Galeron dri dribbling left. Back to Anaya. Anaya driving in, has nearly has her pocket picked and does go off of an owl. So Hilltoppers basketball here as Devin Scott checks into the ball game. Senior guard Alexis Zapp checking out. Scott, Hubbard, Galeron, Maddox, and Rosenthal. Savori, Meade, Meredith, and Gilvin just recently checked into the ball game for the, her first time for the Hilltoppers. Gilvin the ball, passing over to Savori. Three-point shot is up and is no good. Fighting for on the floor is Rosenthal eventually coming away with it. Scott bringing the ball the other way. Scott gets it to Maddox. Ball deflected out of bounds by Gilvin. Nearly another turnover. Four turnovers in the last four minutes for the Owls as senior forward Amber Gaston checks into the ball game for Sofia Galeron. Scott with the ball up top, gets it down to the corner to Maddox. Maddox up top to Scott, cross court pass to Anaya Hubbard. Three point shot off the front rim, rebound to Savori. Savori pushes up, passes over to Meade. Meade elects to not take the three point shot, dribbling out. Run the Hilltoppers offense. Screen set there. Ball in the hands of Gilvin. Gilvin guarded by Rosenthal. The Owls here have been in a man defense. Three-pointer is up and falls. Three-point basket by Alexis Meade. Sees the Hilltoppers continue to push their advantage. 35-17 to 17 here over FAU. Rosenthal kicks it to Anaya Hubbard. Anaya to Joya. Joya trying to hit down low to Amber. Nothing there. Gets the ball down low to Rosenthal. Rosenthal passes back out. Anaya dribbling in. She goes up with it. Her lamp is up and is good. 
That's what Anaya Hubbard does best for this FAU offense as the Hilltoppers quickly come back down the other way. Ball in the corner, a blocking foul going against Anaya Hubbard. Anaya does her best work there, taking the defense on with her favorite left hand there, converting for the basket. After that foul, Anaya checking out of the ball game for Jada Moore. As Sophia also checks back into the game for Yanetta Rosenthal. So now the ball game for the Owls. Scott, Galeron, Maddox, Moore, and Gaston. Pitts, Mead, Meredith, Faustino, and Gilvin here for the Hilltoppers. Ball up top with Mead. Mead dribbling in on Scott. Taking it to the rack and getting it to drop. Karis Allen. Allen there with her first bucket. Jada Moore crossing half court, passing it to Scott. Down in the corner with Moore. Moore trying to get it back up top as Scott does so. Sophia Galeron, her three-pointer is up and is good. Sophia Galeron getting on the board with a three. Her first points of the ball game here. She has three points, two rebounds, and an assist so far in tonight's ball game. Ball with Faustino, kicks it out to Gilvin. Gilvin attempting to hit down low to Allen. Ball going out of bounds. Another turnover here for the Hilltoppers. Their sixth, their fifth turnover here in the second quarter. Jada Moore's inbound pass deflected out of bounds. Gilvin there guarding the inbounder. Both teams electing to press here in the second quarter on all makes or all changes possession. Moore inbounding again, this time getting it in to Maddox. Maddox gets it to Scott. Scott able to break through the press, getting it back to Moore. Scott gets the ball, dribbling in, dribble handoff to Sophia. Moore now in the corner, drives in. Her attempt is up, Maven deflected, no good. Amber gets the ball, falling to her, and is fouled underneath. Amber Gaston, foul there. This is going to be on the floor, so no free throws yet for the Owls. Only two team fouls apiece for these two teams. Minute 55 left here in the second quarter. 37-22 advantage for the Hilltoppers. Scott dribbling in, tending to get the ball to Gaston. That ball is turned over. Falls into the hands of Meade. Meade kicks out for Faustino. Faustino getting the screen from Allen. That's going to be an offensive screen. Allen never got her feet set. As you see, Faustino there relaying the message. Just stand still. I'll use the screen as I choose. And with that foul, Allen checking out of the ball game. Odeth Benincourt checking into the ball game. The junior forward out of San Cristobal, Venezuela, previously of USF, checking into the ball game. Minute 40 left here, 37-22 advantage here for Western Kentucky. Devin Scott with the ball, pressured there by Meade. Meade backing off now. Scott taking on her defender, gives it to Maddox. Maddox getting to the corner to Sophia. Been a strong defensive first half so far by the Hilltoppers. Cross course pass results in a three-pointer. That misses everything. It falls into the hands of Ben Cor, who is immediately fouled by Galeron. Sophia's first foul of the ball game, third team foul. Sophia then turning around and guarding the inbounder. Quick inbound by Western Kentucky. Sees FAU trap. Ball down the hands of Meade, barely getting it to Gilvin. Pass looked like it was deflected a little bit by Devin Scott. One minute left to play here. 37-22 lead for the Hilltoppers in the first half of play, and a layup is up and good by Meade. 39 points now for the Hilltoppers. Both sides of the floor, a strong half of play. FAU needs to find some sort of spark here at the end of the first half to feel good going into the second. 
Dennis Scott with the ball up top, guarded by Meade. Gets it to Sofia Galeron. Galeron cross court pass to Maddox. Her three pointer is up and is no good. Sofia got her hands on the rebound, but it did eventually fall to Ben Court. Head, court, head coach Greg Collins, his fifth year, calling out for this to be the final possession of the half. Meade with the ball guarded by Maddox. Taking her time, screen set by Betancourt. Meade goes over the screen. Another screen from Betancourt. Meade dribbling and kicking outside to Meredith. Meredith driving in, her layup is up and is no good. Rebound falling to Maddox. And as she grabs the rebound, the half comes to an end. The Hilltoppers with a strong performance here in the first half of play with 39 points. Compared to the 22 of FAU. FAU ending the half with a two and a half minute scoring drought. Need to find something to come out here to really come back in the second half of play. Name is Jacob Kelly. Thank you all for tuning in to today's broadcast, Conference USA TV and Stadium TV. We will be back with the second half of play. Dallas trailing by trailing 22-39, the largest halftime deficit here at Eleanor R. Baldwin Arena so far this season, where the Owls are undefeated. Putting a big second half to overcome this 17-point deficit. Need a lot more safe with the ball. I will start with possession in the ball game. Jada Moore, Alexa Zaps, Sophia Galeron, Joya Maddox, and Amber Gaston, the starting crew out here for the Owls. Meanwhile, for the Hilltoppers, Pitts, Meade, Meredith, Hayes, and Jalen Foster starting off the second half of play. Jada Moore taking straight to the rack and getting it to drop. Jada Moore, her first point of the ball game as the Owls again coming out here with a full court press. Traveling on the baseline. Ball deflected off of Galeron. The Hilltoppers will have six seconds to cross the half court line here. Sophia guarding the inbounder, getting her hand on it. The ball falls into the corner to Pitts. Let's get talking quickly getting the ball across half court. Lamb is up and is no good. Rebound falling back to Hayes. Kick out is up and is good. Maya Meredith with a three-point shot, kicking off the second half of play here. Meredith's first points of this ball game was one of four, and two rebounds to her credit. Ball down low with Gaston. Gaston taking straight into the defender. Her layup is up and is good. Gets the friendly roll there, Amber Gaston. Her first points of this ball game on one of three is shooting. Foster with the ball, getting across half court in the hand of Pitts. Me taking it right at Gaston, takes the contact, gets it to go, and we go into the line for one more. Alexis Meade there with the contact finish. Meade leading now all scorers with her 15 points. Has been on fire, seven of nine, one of two from beyond the arc. She's going to the free throw line here to try to extend the lead to 19. Her free throw is up and is good. 45-26 advantage for the Hilltoppers here. 8.43 left to go in the third quarter of play. Zaff taking the inbound. Hilltoppers also here in their full court press. Throw the softer press than the Owls are providing on their side. Hilltoppers also falling back into their zone. Looks like a box and one as the ball is down low. Lamb is up and is good. Joya Maddox. The Owls here have started off to a stronger offensive start as Maddox takes the steal, puts the lamp up, gets it to go. Joya Maddox with back-to-back -back attempts that fall. Lead now 45-30 for the Hilltoppers. The Owls are not letting up on their pressure. Pitts with the ball in her hand as Sophia Galeron gets her hand in there, forcing the turnover. Ball falling to Zaff. Zaff taking it to the rim. Her lamp is up and is no good. Rebound by Galeron. Galeron throwing it off the defender. Smart decision will earn FAU another possession here. Yanetta Rosenthal checking back into the back into the basketball game for Amber Gaston. Again, Yanetta's Yanetta missed last time out against North Texas with a sprained ankle. Sophia Galeron off the inbound, is fouled on the shot. She will be going to the free throw line. 
Galeron had made her one shot, that being a three-pointer in the first half. Has three rebounds and one assist in the ball game so far. Sophia Galera going to the line. Substitution here for the Hilltoppers. Odith Bencourt coming into the ball game for Jalen Foster. Bencourt had just under five and a half minutes of play in the first half. Sophia Galera shooting two from the line. Her first free throw is good. Sophia Galera, the senior forward. Coming into this ball game, shooting 78% from the free throw line, converts her two free throws. Fifth leading score on this Owls roster. Immediately again, inbounding and gets the steal, gets it to Zaf. Zaf's lamp is up and no good, but is fouled. Strong response here by the Owls here in the second half. Forcing multiple turnovers and started to cut into this lead. It was 17 and a half. It is now 13, 7.46 on the clock. Zaff going to the line. Zaff's first free throw is good. Zaff, one of the best free throw shooters on this ball team. Second on the team in percentage, 80% from the line. Excuse me, 88% from the line. She is the leading scorer. Looking at the wrong statistic there. Leading free throw scorer for the Owls, 88%. Second leading scorer just behind Yanetta Rosenthal, 9.1 points per game. The Owls press has worked very well so for them so far. And forced another turnover. The Owls bench all standing up, providing energy here for the team. Another turnover as the Owls now trailing by 11 have started to turn this ball game on its head. The Hilltopper has been sloppy here to start off the second half. Ball with Galeron. Hilltoppers again in their 2-3 zone. Match with the ball, getting it over to Moore. Moore dribbling in, gets it out of the free throw line, driving it, takes it to the rim, gets it to go. The Owls have cut it down to single digits. Jada Moore there with the bucket. Finally, Western Kentucky is able to successfully get the ball beyond the half-court line here. Ball in the hands of Meade, guarded by Maddox. Screen set by Meredith. Meade takes it on Galeron, dribbling out, passing out outside. Three-pointer is up and no good. Nothing but backboard. Fall, ball falls to Moore. Moore dribble handoff to Maddox. Maddox eventually getting it to Zaff. Effie running their offense here. Ball in the hands of Moore. Screen set by Rosenthal. Moore, mid-range jump shot is up and is good! The Owls are on fire here to start off. And that was responded to by a timeout by Western Kentucky. Greg Collins calling the second timeout. 12-0 run over the last minute and a half here by the Owls. Capitalized off four turnovers by the Hilltoppers over the last two minutes of play. Has seen the Owls cut this deficit from 17 all the way down to seven. 6.47 left to go here in the third quarter of play. Thank you for tuning in to Stadium TV, Conference USA TV. My name is Jacob Kelly. We will be right back. Zaff, as the Owls come out here again in a full court press. Alexis Zaff with nine points. And another turnover by the Hilltoppers. Five turnovers in the last two minutes and five seconds of play. They have not scored at all in that time. They've barely gotten the ball across half court in their time with this strong defensive performance here to start off the second half. This FAU basketball team is known for their defense. First in the conference in three-point defense, second in the conference in rebounds. Fewest fouls per game, second in the conference. This is a strong defensive team here. It's Jennifer Sullivan in her second year here in charge. Ball up top with Moore. Moore gets it to Zaff. Four seconds on the clock. Zaff will have to get up a shot. Her runner is up. It is no good. Shot clock violation. Ball will go back the way of the Hilltoppers here. 6.09 left to go in the third quarter of play. It's been this, this full court press here that FA has been deploying that has seen them come back in this ball game. The Hilltoppers have, been, have not been able to find an answer for it. This time getting past half court. Ball in the hands of Meade. Bancourt not cho choosing to take on her defender. They have the numbers there momentarily. Hilltopper setting up their offense here. FAU in a man-to-man -man defense. Screened by Bancourt. Galeron guarding Faustino. Ball up top with Blovins. And a foul underneath as 
Moore. Got intertwined there with Betancourt. Foul there on Jada Moore. That's gonna be her second here. On the court for FAU, Galarone, Maddox, Moore, Rosenthal, and Zaff. For Western Kentucky, Meade, Meredith, Faustino, Blevins, and Bencourt. Bencourt's layup is up and is completely missed. Rebound falls to Rosenthal. Zaff pushing the ball up court. Has Rosenthal wide open. Rosenthal doesn't shoot a lot of threes. Shot one in the first half. Max with the ball. Max taking the ball in. Her runner is up. Just falls short. Rebound to Rosenthal. Second chance opportunity there. No good. Rebound falls to Moore and she converts. We have a five point ball game. It was 17. It's turned to five. Hilltoppers coming the other way. Again, dribbling the ball out rather than taking the two on one. And that results in a turnover. Sophia falling on the ball. Jump ball. Ball stay here with the Hilltoppers. Karis Allen checking in here for the Hilltoppers. Anaya Hubbard checking in. Joy Maddox coming and taking a seat. Devin Scott will also be checking in. We have a timeout here. 45-40 ball game halfway through the third quarter of play. This has been an exciting and thrilling second half of play to start off. Well, again, let's start off as a 17-point lead. It's down to five for the Hilltoppers of Western Kentucky. Welcome back to Eleanor R. Baldwin Arena, Boca Raton, Florida. Conference USA matchup here, which has been an thrilling one. The second half performance here of FAU. Started off trailing by 17. Now, thanks to a 14-0 run, only down by five here. Five minutes left to go here in the third quarter. Alexis Mead still leading all scorers with her 16 points. Gets the inbound pass. Mead had a career-high nine assists against Cal Baptist. Was 20-22 Conference USA All-Freshman team here on this Hilltoppers offense. Me passing the ball out to Meredith. Meredith guarded by Anaya. Meredith taking it in and stripped by Hubbard. Another turnover. Six turnover in the last four minutes of play by the Hilltoppers. Scott with the ball getting it to Moore. Scott, Hubbard, Galarun, Moore, and Rosenthal. Moore with the ball outside. Taking on her defender, passing all the way across court. So Fulia Galarun, her three-pointer is up and no good. Rebound falls to Meade. Faustino with the ball, guarded by Moore, kicks it to me. Her three-pointer is up and is no good. Offensive rebound falls to Blevins. And then Anaya Hubbard coming away with the ball, fighting for it on the floor. Hilltoppers not able to stop this run here. Seven turnovers in the last four minutes and 40 seconds. Ball in the hands of Jada Moore. Her eight points so far, so far ties a season high. Has the ball, just picked up her dribble, gets it out to Devin Scott. Gets the ball back. Her three-pointer is up. It is good, Jada Moore. 11 points here. The lead is down to two. And another turnover by the Hilltoppers. This has been incredible. Scott bringing the ball, losing possession of it. Falls to a nine hover. She goes up with it, is fouled, and will be scoring. Sorry, it is a traveling violation. Got a little excited there. Turnover here by the Owls. The Owls of FAU on a 17-0 run over the last five minutes and two seconds has completely flipped this game on its head. The Hilltoppers have not been able to find any sort of offense and are really struggling against this press. Moore nearly coming with the turnover. Meade pushing the ball. Ball up top, three-pointer is up and is good. Finally, the Hilltoppers able to take the top off of the basket. First points for the Hilltoppers in over five minutes of play. Sky bring the ball across half court. Five-point advantage now back for the Hilltoppers. Scott calling out a play here. Jada Moore with the ball, just had a three-pointer earlier on. An ill-advised pass, passing right to Gilvin. Meade bringing the ball across half the court. Gets it to Pitts. Pitts driving in, and an offensive foul. Ball going back the way of the Owls. 15th turnover here. 
The turnover deficit was 13 to six at the halftime break. That is now even at 15 apiece. Joy Maddox checking back into the game. Coming out of the game, leading score for the Owls, Jada Moore. She's been very impactful on both sides of the floor. Her 11 points lead all scores. Got Lorel with the ball, has it on baseline. Cross court pass to Devin Scott. Scott bringing it into the paint. Her attempt is up and is no good, but she is fouled. So Devin Scott will be going to the charity stripe. Devin Scott only averaging 3.4 points per game for this Owls offense. The junior 5'8 guard here shooting 62% from the free throw line on the season. We'll be shooting two here. First free throw bounces in. The friendly bounce off the front rim. Lead now down to four. 2.26 left here to go in the third quarter of play. Second free throw and nothing but net by Scott. Lead now to three, back to a single possession game here. The Hilltoppers with the over the top pass, getting across half court. That's been their best way of success of breaking this press here in the second half. Their short passes back in their own side of the court have resulted in quite a few turnovers by the Hilltoppers. Ball in the hands of Meade, her 16 points still leading all scorers. Six seconds on the shot clock. Meek taking it in. Gets it down low to Pitts. Pitts fade away. Attempt is no good. Ball perfectly falls into the hands of Gilvin. Gilvin's first points of the ball game. FAU quickly taking the ball the other way. Ball up top with Scott. Scott getting into Maddox. Maddox looking to get it down low to Rosenthal. Does so. Rosenthal go to work. Getting a cross court pass to Gallo. Her three pointer is up and is good. Sophia Galleron, three-point basket is good. Back to a two-point ball game. Near turnover again there by the Hilltoppers. Sophia now eight points in this ball game, two of three from beyond the arc. She comes out of this ball game, eight points. Jada Moore quickly back into this game after just a quick rest. And a substitution here for the Hilltoppers, Maya Meredith coming back into the ball game. Gildens will take a seat on the end of the bench. Inbound by, inbound to Hayes. Hayes, the leading scorer on this Hilltoppers team, only with three points, takes it to the basket, and just on cue, gets a layup there, her second bucket. Drops to extend the lead back to four here, 52-48, minute 10 left to go in the third quarter of play. Scott getting the ball across half court, guarded by Hayes. Scott faking the dribble handoff, getting it down low to Rosenthal. They have an injury underneath as Rosenthal is injured. That's Savori down on the court. Foul there going against Meredith as Meredith's only first foul so far. Hope Savori helped off the floor there by the medical staff. Not able to put a lot of weight down there on the ankle. Got turned underneath her. Savori, three points in the ball game so far. One of three. Exits his ball game with the injury. Yet Rosendahl be going to the free throw line. The second leading scorer coming into this ball game has only four points in her first game back since the ankle injury. Her first free throw rattles in, bring the lead back down to three. Again, this was a 17-point game at one point. Entering the second half of play, the first half was all Hilltoppers, and the Owls have been on fire here on both sides, forcing turnovers and converting when they do so. The Hilltoppers quickly bust through this press by FAU. That press has been giving the Owls a lot of success. cross court pass, there's also a three-pointer. That is up and is good. Faustino extend the lead back to three. Jada Moore with the ball, taking it. Her lane is up and is good. Jada Moore having her best game of the season. 13 points now. Anaya Hubbard taking the steal. A little bit of a push off there, brings it across half court now. 28 seconds left on the clock, about a three second differential on the shot in the game clock. FAU can't guarantee the last possession here, but will likely dribble as much clock off 
off this as they possibly can. As much time off the clock as they possibly can. Scott with the screen by Maddox. Gets the ball to Maddox. Maddox driving right. Her attempt is up and is blocked. Goes out of bounds. Two seconds on the shot clock. The Owls have to get this in and get something up quickly. 5.4 seconds on the game clock. Scott with the inbound. Maddox is coming open here, does not see her, gets it down low. Anaya Hubbard, her layup is up, misses the rim, resulting in a shot clock violation. Three seconds here on the shot clock as Amber Gaston thought the quarter was over and ran out onto the floor. Hilltoppers with three seconds here to get up a shot. Three is also the deficit. The FAU is down now. Ball in, gets across half court. Taking it in, her lamp is up and is good. Hayes there, ending the third quarter with the Hilltoppers of 57 to 52. Again, this was a game that was comfortably in the Hilltoppers' hands, has completely swung the other direction with FAU with the majority of the momentum there at the end of the third quarter. Thank you all for very much for tuning into today's broadcast. Don't go anywhere. We have an electric fourth quarter on our hands just on the other side of the break. Point deficit coming into the third quarter of play. Forced a lot of turnovers thanks to their full court press. Have seen themselves come back to this game against the Hilltoppers of Western Kentucky. FAU with the first possession here. And we have a jump ball here. Ball going the way of the Hilltoppers. Western Kentucky there getting in the passing lane. Western Kentucky now is the one that has to find themselves some answers. They have not had a lot of success there in that third quarter of play. Mead with the ball, getting it across half court. Ball in the hands of Hayes. Hayes down into the corner. Three-pointer is up and is good. Sweet stroke there by Faustino. She has 13 points now. A third double-digit score for the Hilltopper offense. Hilltopper's trying to gain a little bit more, a little bit of momentum back that they lost there in the third quarter. Zap with the ball, picks up her dribble, gets it to Galeron. Maddox down low to Zaf. Zaf's lamp is blocked. And then Anaya Hubbard coming in, stealing it. Goes up with it. She takes the foul. Great hustle effort there by Anaya Hubbard. Leading score coming into the game for the Owls. 13.8 points per ball game. Only four so far here today. But the hustle, ch hustle effort there results in some free throws for the Owls. Anaya's first free throw is good. Anaya, not a great free throw shooter. 55% on the season. Be the two free throws to try to help bring FAU back into this contest. Second one is no good. Anaya now with five points in this ball game. Seven point game. Nine minutes left to go here. Ball on top with Mead. Mead still leads all scores with her 16 is guarded by Rosenthal. Screen coming from Meredith is set. The switch got a roll now on me. 10 seconds on the shot clock. Hayes with the ball up top, passes it over to Faustino. Faustino taking Zaff off the dribble, brings it back with a Euro and gets it to drop. The clean Euro step there results in the layup. Faustino now with 15 points. Naya getting across half court, the leads back to nine here. And a turnover there by the Owls. Jennifer Sullivan wondering where the foul is. Nothing called, the Hilltoppers coming back with possession of the ball. Need up top, taking it at Rosenthal, dribbling out to the corner. Trying to hit down low, is not able to do so, gets it to Hayes, Bastino. And we have a three second violation. Or oh, sorry, a foul. 34, Alexis Zaff. As the FAU coaching staff wondering where that call was on the other side of the court. 62-53, 8-14 left to go here. Meade inbounding underneath the basket on the south side of the court. And we have a double technical here. Meredith getting into with one of the FAU players. Not sure who that was that is going to be going against for FAU. But Maya Meredith picking up the technical. We'll wait to see who that's going to be for the Owls. Hey. 
I believe that's going to be going against Sofia Galarone. A little bit double technical here. Yes, that is Sofia Galarone and Maya Meredith there picking up the double text there. Those will wash out and result in the Hilltoppers inbounding it underneath. Hubbard, Galarone, Maddox, Rosenthal, Zav in the ballgame for the Owls. Mead, Hayes, Foster, Faustino, and Blevins for the Hilltoppers. Faustino with the ball, kicks it over to Hayes. Screen. And Hayes takes it to the basket, gets the right hand layup to go. Restoring a double-digit lead. The Hilltoppers have been regaining the momentum here. Now with an 11-point lead, just under eight minutes left to go. The Owls undefeated here at home court. Have another hole to dig themselves out of. And with that, we have a timeout. Head coach Jennifer Sullivan calling the first timeout for the FAU Owls. The, lead, the, the game was once better in their hands. Got the lead all the way down to two. Now down 11 with 7 minutes, 48 seconds left on the clock. We will be right back here. Thank you again for tuning into Conference USA TV and Stadium TV. My name is Jacob Kelly. We will be right back. Hayes, Foster, Faustinos, and Blevin in for the Hilltoppers. Maxi in the ball across half court. Gets it to Zaf. Zaf attempting to get it to Gaston. Unable to do so. Another FAU turnover here. 7 minutes left to go. 64-56. Hayes taking on Zaff, kicks it out top, three-pointer is up, and off right rib, and no good by Foster. Foster hitting the deck there as Moore takes in transition. Moore's attempt is up and is good. Jada Moore, 15 points here. Her best game points-wise in an owl uniform. The Kansas State transfer here in her first season, having herself a great game here tonight. Me with the ball, kicks it out top. Six point lead now, six and a half left to go. Down low with Faustino. Out top with Hayes. Hayes guarded by Maddox as Yanetta Rosenthal looks to check back in the game. Good fake there, gets Maddox in the air. And the bucket is good by Hayes. Leading score coming into this game now with 11 points. She's in double digits here for the Hilltoppers. Galeron just getting to the ball, and off of Jada Moore, the ball goes out of bounds here. 20th turnover here by the Owls. Western Kentucky with 19 themselves. Zaff and Gaston checking out of the ball game. Owls notably here electing not to continue their press that had so much success in their third quarter. Helltoppers finally able to find a way around it. Me driving in. Her attempt at the basket is up and no good. Took it into triple coverage there. Scott bringing the ball up court. Scott picking up her dribble, getting it to Maddox at the free throw line. Maddox with six points in this ball game. Maddox getting it to Moore. Moore losing her footing with the ball on the ground. Turnover ball falls to Blevins. Turnover there, Scott bringing back the ball here. A back and forth game here, eight point advantage for the Hilltoppers. You know the ball outside, guarded by Pitts, gets it to Sophia. Sophia gets it to Scott. Scott's mid-range jump shot is up and falls. Back to six point here, lead for the Hilltoppers. 5-10 left to go. Hayes left open, driving in, blocked by Galleron. Offensive rebound falls to Blevins. Bastino with the ball out top, guarded by Maddox. Screen set by Blevins. Bastino taking it all the way in. Yanetta coming over. That shot is missed. It falls on the floor. Bastino gets the rebound, but with the jump ball, the ball will go the way of the Owls. Strong defensive possession there with the Owls. Gets them the ball back after the jump ball. Western Kentucky stays true to their full court press. Moore will be inbounding underneath. Scott and Maddox with her up in the front court. As Foster checks back into this ball game, Pitts taking his seat. Pitts started this game, has yet to get amongst the scorers here. Zero points. Inbound to Scott. Hilltoppers falling back in their press. 
Maya Merida looks to check back into the ball game for the Hilltoppers. Maddox with the ball, wanted to hit Galloway, not able to do so, gets it to Rosenthal. Just did a good enough job to keep her, keep her foot down. Cross court pass, FAU pass the ball around the perimeter. Ball with Moore, four seconds on the shot clock. Scott, three-pointer is up and is good, but there was a traveling violation just before that. 20-second turnover for the Owls. That shot could have narrowed the lead down to three with 4.18 left to go here. Now the Owls back into the zone press. Sullivan bringing the girls back into the front court on the Hilltoppers side. Hilltoppers breaking the press, ball at the perimeter of Faustino. Electing to try to pass it around, take some time off the clock rather than take the three-pointer. Mead with the ball guarded by Galeron. Screen is set by Foster. Mead here guarded by Rosenthal. Taking Rosenthal to the basket, has it underneath. Kicks it back all the way out to Faustino. Wide open underneath is Meredith. She takes it and puts it up for two. Eight point lead here, 68 to 60. 340 left to go here in the ball game. Sky with the ball. Sophia coming to set a screen, gets the ball, screen set by Scott. Backdoor cut to Maddox. Maddox kicks it out, three-pointer is up and is no good. Rebound fought for, eventually fought on by Scott. Scott gets it to Maddox. Maddox gets it to Moore. Ball is on the ground, Moore eventually gets it, puts it up and gets it to drop. 3-13 left, 68-62 here, fourth quarter of play. Hayes picks up her dribble, gets it to Meredith. Meredith gets it across half court here with one second to spare. And a foul there by Devin Scott. Will slow down play. Third team foul, three team fouls each side here in the fourth quarter. Scott's second foul. Devin Scott, four points, one of two. FAU has hit four of their last five field goals here. Has a Nia leading score on the season for the Owls. The freshman out of Hoover, Alabama, looks to check back into the game. Faustino gets it to Mead. Mead's layup is up and is long, no good. Rebound to Maddox. Maddox bring the ball across half court. Looks to be in a little bit of pain, maybe had a little bit of a tweak there. Nia will be coming in for Joya after that little tweak. Joya dribbling and kicks out to Scott. Scott three-pointer is up and is no good. Rebound to Faustino over the back foul there by Galarone. The Owls desperately attempting to cut into this lead. Can't get it past six as there's 2.29 left here to go in the fourth quarter. Heavy bringing the defenders back up in the press. Foster gets it into Meredith. Meredith gets it to Meade. Meade gets it to Faustino. Quick passing here, gets the ball quickly across half court. And now the Hilltoppers can set up their offense with 220. Hilltoppers mightily slowing down the possession here. Mead up top, guarded by Hubbard. Gets it down low to Foster. Foster has it blocked by Moore. Moore comes away with the rebound. Zaff pushing it up, under two minutes to play. Zaff dribbles it in, kicks it back out to Moore. Moore signaling for Zaff to come get the ball back. Mead has been all over on both sides of the floor here. Ball to Anaya, Anaya taking on Hayes, putting it up and no good, had it blocked. Rebound falls and a foul here by FAU. FAU bench calling for a jump ball. Looks like it's going to be a foul called. And we will have three throws now from this point on for the Hilltoppers. Six point ball game, 139 left to go in the fourth quarter of play. FAU has not dropped a single game here at Eleanor R. Baldwin Arena in Boca Raton, Florida in the entirety of the season. Neither programs have dropped a single game, both the men's and the women's team undefeated down here, protecting home court. Meredith going to the charity stripe as Joya Maddox looks to check back in. Meredith converting her first free throw. Meredith, a 75% free throw scorer, is third on the team in that department. 
Her second free throw is up and is no good. Rebound to Galarone, 138 left to go. Seven point advantage for the Hilltopper, 69-62. Zaff with the ball, guarded by Meade. Gets it over to Moore. Moore guarded by Hayes. Screen coming from Galarone. Moore taking it in, getting it to Anaya. Anaya dribbling into the paint. We have a timeout. Jennifer Sullivan using one of her three remaining timeouts. Oh, here, Jacob Kelly, Conference USA TV, Stadium TV, 69-62, a ball game here, Eleanor R. Baldwin Arena. A hard-fought matchup here between FAU Owls and the Hilltoppers of Western Kentucky. FAU has the inbound, 10 seconds on the shot clock, Zaff in the ball game underneath with the inbound. Gets it open to the corner to Galarone. Her three-pointer is long and a jump ball here. Possession going the way of the Hilltoppers with 1.16 left to go. Every foul here on out by the Owls will result in Hilltopper free throws. Ball inbound, it's Meredith immediately pressured by Zaff. Gets the ball back to Foster. Foster gets it to Meade. Meade gets it to Hayes. And now the decision whether to foul or not by FAU with a minute left on the clock. Anaya Hubbard with the ball. Jump ball. Ball going the way of FAU. Good defensive possession there. FAU not electing the foul. But with not a lot of time here, down seven. We'll have to find something here quickly to try to overcome the Hilltoppers. Zaff with the inbound. Gets it to Anaya. Anaya fakes a three, dribbles in, kicks out to Zaff. Zaff three-pointer is up and is short. Rebound to Meredith. And a foul by Hubbard. Excuse me, a foul by Zaff. We'll see if the Hilltoppers shoot free throws down at the other end, trying to extend this lead and put away the game potentially. Meredith going to the free throw line, has already been there today. Maya Meredith, six points, one of two from the free throw line, two of five. Six points, six rebounds on 30 minutes played in today's ball game. Un excuse me, unable to convert the first free throw attempt. Unable to extend the lead to eight here, 69-62. We've been locked here for a couple minutes now. Free, free throw is up and is no good. Rebound to Anaya Hubbard, immediately calling a timeout. 45.4 left to go here. This has been a fantastic matchup here in Conference USA play. 10 and 5 FAU, 7 and 8 Western Kentucky here. It has been anybody's ball game in the second half of play. The Owls were on a strong start in the third quarter, but now have been held scoreless over the last 229 or 0 of their last four. Western Kentucky has hit a couple free throws, but they have not got a single field goal to go themselves in the last 303. Both teams here exiting their huddles as the Owls look to try to put some points on the board here. Put a little pressure the way of the Hilltoppers. Hubbard, Galarone, Moore, Rosenthal, Zaff for FAU. Meade, Meredith, Hayes, Foster, Faustino. Sophia with the ball in the corner. Her three-pointer is up. That's no good, but takes the contact and will be going to the line. That's absolutely huge for FAU. They can put more points on the board here with no time coming off the clock. The Hilltoppers have to be a lot more careful to not to foul. This is the fourth team foul. So with the next foul will be five, the Owls will be shooting free throws themselves from this point on. Galarone's free throw bounces out, unable to cut into this lead. Still held scoreless over the last two and a half minutes. Second free throw is good here, cutting the lead to six. Again, the Owls undefeated here at home territory. Jennifer Sullivan's second year here in charge. Second free throw is good. Two or three by Galeron. Foster with the ball. And Meredith is fouled there. Looks like that was Joya getting her hand and fouling Meredith. M Meredith is the one ideally to foul. 
She's one of four in the ball game. She's been shooting relatively well on the season. Not even relatively, 75% from the free throw line. But here today, one of four from the free throw line. Maya Meredith will be going to the line with 38 seconds left here to shoot two. This free throw is good, bringing it back to a six point ball game. FAU with one timeout left here. Western Kentucky with two. Second free throw. This one is just as good. Maya Meredith converting both her free throws. And head coach Jennifer Sullivan electing to use her final timeout here. Last timeout off the board for the Owls. 71-64, 38 seconds left here. Alexis Mead leading all scorers with her 16 points, just followed by Teresa Faustino. 15 points for her on six of nine scoring. For the Owls, Sophia Galeron with 13, but Jada Moore has had her best game as an Owl to transfer from Kansas State. 17 points here tonight in the ball game. Two teams leading their huddles. The Owls have possession of the ball here, just burned their final timeout. 38.4 left to go. Rosenthal, Galeron, and Zaff. Anaya Hubbard and Joya Maddox in the game. Anaya with the ball, kicks out to Zaff. Zaff's three-pointer is blocked, rebound to Faustino. And another Owls foul. And the Hilltoppers can try to just edge away here with 30.8 seconds left to go. That play was intended to go to Maddox, but good defense there by me to deny the pass. And then Zaff with a three-point shot was blocked fall in the way of Faustino. And Faustino now can go to the line looking to extend this to nine. First free throw is good. Now an eight point advantage here for the Hilltoppers, 30.8 left to go. Faustino, second free throw is good. No timeouts here for FAU. They'll have to roll with the rest of the game. Zav with the ball, gets it to Maddox. Max has it stripped from behind, but gets back. Her shot is up and no good, but we'll be going to the free throw line, whether that's on the floor or on the shot either way. That's the one thing for the Hilltoppers you want to avoid here for the rest of the game, as these are opportunities with no time coming off the clock. That is actually going to be Jalen Foster's last action in this ball game as she is fouled out here. Jordan Smith checking into the ball game for the first time here today as Joya Maddox goes to the free throw line. Her first free throw is good now, seven points here. Joya Maddox, fourth leading scorer on this team, the junior guard at the line. Her second free throw is good. Joya is shooting a strong 80% from the line, seven and a half points per game. Western Kentucky now electing to use one of their remaining two timeouts here with 23.2 left to go into today's ball game. This was once a 17 point ball game, ladies and gentlemen. And then FAU with a very strong third quarter of play off the back of their zone press, forcing a lot of turnovers and forcing the lead all the way down to two. And now the Hilltoppers likely will be fouled here off the inbound. FAU will be strongly pressuring, try to gain a steal. The Hilltoppers looking to continue to hit their free throws to finish this game out. Hubbard, got a run. Rosenthal, Maddox, and Zaff in for FAU. Meade, Meredith, Hayes, Faustino, and Smith, who just got into the ball game for the first time today. Inbound. Results in a jump of ball. Ball will stay here with the Hilltoppers, but good job by Rosenthal to get her hands in there, forcing the jump ball. So and the next jump ball will go the way of the Owls if we have one more here tonight. So that foul, that is actually being changed to a foul. Ball, it was once a jump ball. Refs got together and now decided a foul. 
Sophia Galeron picking up the foul. That's gonna be her fourth foul here. She's looking to the sideline like, what did I do? And it looked like she got in there cleanly to me. By the way, the Hilltoppers making their free throw. Smith there with her first action today, making her first free throw at the free throw line. 21.9 left to go here. So now that foul is actually being switched to Rosenthal. That explains Calderon's confusion. Yanetta now with the foul. That being Yanetta's third foul. Free throw miss, rebound by Galeron. The Owls have to push it here. 18 seconds on the clock. Anaya with the ball. Gets it to Joya. Joya's three-pointer is up. This one no good. Rebound falls away of Smith. And that is about it here. Elmer R. Baldwin Arena, Boca Raton, Florida. 10.5 left here. The Hilltoppers leading 74-66. Can extend this to 10 with 10 and a half left to go here. Anaya Hubbard there picking up the foul. Her third foul of today's ball game, sending Smith to the free throw line. Smith just at the free throw line, going back to the cherry stripe, nailing the first of two. Now two of three from the line after missing one of her previous attempts. Second free throw, just as good. No timeout called by Western Kentucky. FAU down 10 here. Joya pushing the ball up quickly. Taking and kicking out to Anaya Hubbard. Anaya's three-pointer is up. This one also no good. Ball into Galeron, out to Zaff. And that is the ball game. FAU falling for the first time here at Eleanor R. Baldwin Arena. 76 to 66, falling to 10 and six on the season. The Hilltoppers of Western Kentucky move back to 500, eight and eight on the season. The Owls are now, have now lost four of their last five matchups after a nine and two start to the season. Falling here by 10 here in Boca Raton, Florida. We will be back in a couple minutes of time with a game a wrap up. If you are listening on Conference USA TV, hopefully we'll be welcomed over by head coach Jennifer Sullivan to talk a little bit, but we'll be back here on Stadium TV in just a few minutes of time with a little post-game wrap-up.